in a multiverse full of infinite possibilities. Even the lamest ideas must exist, which is why in a long enough timeline, Disney had to make something like, oh, I don't know, a Hawkeye series. Oh, shit. Hawkeye, the series. You've seen Clint Barton lose his mind to Loki's staff, lose his family to the blip, and lose his best friend to the ground. Now, get ready for a new adventure about the time he lost his hearing. More cookie, please, thank you. Lost some very important dry cleaning. Witnesses captured cell phone footage of a masked assailant fleeing the scene. And lost all of his patience. As far as I'm concerned, we're in this together. <sighs> Tell her she hurt your feelings, but apologize. Can you believe the Avengers have never lost a fight when Hawkeye is with them? It's like the Hulk's lucky purple underwear. You can't just put him on any shaft, you know? Remember Hawkeye? He's old now, and the most over it Avenger has literally heard enough of your sh**. Is that all time? I could do this all. Did you turn your hearing aid off? And now that Jeremy Renner would rather be rocket than knockin'. Yay. He's passing the bow to Kate Bishop. She's a milestone of representation as the MCU's first hero who thinks Hawkeye is cool. Can you sign this? You're kind of my favorite Avenger. This heir to the name is a clueless rich girl who's really into archery and branding. Your problem is branding. It's a very hard brand to sell. I've been thinking about your branding issue. You need a more recognizable costume. It's the branding issue, I'm telling you. But don't worry. Kind of sucking is one of Hawkeye's main qualifications. Kate should easily slide into the role going forward. Does she wax her pants? That definitely sounds like something rich girls would do. You do know she went to the same high school as Gwyneth Paltrow, right? Watch Clint and Kate work together to find who killed her father's, brother's, nephew's, cousin's former roommate. Oh, sorry, I mean her mother's, fiance's estranged uncle who loves drama. And helping them crack this super important case are the Avengers. <laughs> Just kidding, they would never. Helping them are C-teamers like Sober Jack Sparrow. Yes. Kate's wealthy parents who you just know are criminals. Call it the Arrow Principle. Some LARPers the heroes look down on, which is rich considering Hawkeye LARPs as an Avenger. Lucky the Pizza Dog, who's cute, but let's face it, he's no Air Bud. You're gonna eat that pizza all day, you're gonna start hitting some three-pointers. Yelena, who keeps up her streak of making the audience wonder, why isn't this about Yelena instead? And Linda Cardellini as the chillest wife on the planet, who will assume is cool with Clint spending Christmas Eve drinking with a hot, rich 22-year-old who idolizes him and looks like a young version of her. Dude, she's ex-Shield. She's gonna find those texts and they, uh, do not look good. Prepare for the most suit-obsessed TV show since Suits. Told nobody about this suit. Wait, what about the suit? I told you that suit was bad news. Yeah, I'll give you the suit. Did you get the suit? Suit. 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 Where Clint must atone for the time he butchered half the criminal underworld, and also his haircut. Hunting him down is Echo, a mob lieutenant whose hearing loss gives her a superhuman tolerance for the word bro. Wakey, wakey, bro. Let's go, bro! It worked, bro. We got you now. Bro. Are you making it so tough on us, bro? And in a reveal they teased for five weeks straight, Vincent D'Onofrio returns as the Kingpin, who appears to have spent his time off camera becoming a Hawaiian pimp. He'll step out of the multiverse, only to get worked by just about every main character in the MCU's answer to Darth Maul getting sliced in round one of the lightsaber playoffs. I'm not saying the return of the Netflix characters has been a dud so far, but Danny Rand just changed his Facebook invite from going to maybe. So tune in for this family-friendly Shane Black riff, where the weapons aren't lethal, the guys aren't nice, and in true Marvel fashion, there's no kiss-kiss or bang-bang, but it still gives us some passable action. Hang on. Decent quips. Hey, look, that one's you. No, it's Katniss Everdeen. And a fun new hero. Oh, wow, didn't, uh, didn't realize we were supposed to bring guns. Even though you could have had twice the fun by reading the comics it's based on, or reading about the Jeremy Renner app, or reading about the other Marvel musical we wish we could see. Now in previews at the Foxwoods Theater, the event that will redefine the Broadway spectacular. I'm gonna tell my kids that this was No Way Home. Starring Sterling Archer, assistant to the regional Hawkeye, it was a one-eyed street raised golden puppy pizza eater. Mom, you have failed this city. Captain Stabin. 
Florence the Pew, Florence the Pew, Russian little sister loves macaroni. Silent but deadly, Kazi the Clown, a Twitch influencer, still a cop. I thought you loved all animals, Mr. Ventura. And what a week straight of getting beat in the face looks like. Are we sure they don't have healing powers? Ronin with the homies. world's greatest archers. Can you even salmon ladder, bro? Queen takes bishop. Checkmate. They call me Mr. Tibbs. I'm not an actor, but I play one on TV. There is no spoon. There is a fork. Let's get dangerous. You like Krabby Patties, don't you, Squidward?